Tifu Bu accidentally making a former alcoholic break seven years of sobriety. I bartender to fancy NYC event space doing private cater waiter events. Tonight was a holiday party for some hedge fund managers or something. During the event my manager, really nice lady, came over on my left just to check on me. She also asked for a club soda as she was very thirsty. At the same time a guest ordered a vodka and soda on my right. Made his drink, but accidentally gave it to my boss which she accidentally gulped. Turned white as a ghost. And demanded why I gave her alcohol. I explained was a simple mix up and she just stared at me. Didn't think it was a big deal at the time, was almost funny. Well later, I found out from my other boss she's 7 years sober and I just button out it all up. It was her biggest fear, she was crying, and even tried to throw it up. She went home early. I don't think I'm fired, but needless to say I feel like total coconut. TL, doctor, my manager lost 7 years of sobriety because my dumbass served her vodka instead of water. Yeah, you banana up, but you didn't fuck it all up. She had no intention of drinking, she didn't continue to drink when she knew it was vodka. Her sobriety is intact. Now, might this be a tough psychological hurdle for her? Yes. But those will come and it is on her to react accordingly. D, does that count? I mean, you didn't give it to her on purpose, it's a mistake anyone could have made and I don't think you should beat yourself up over it. I'm still really sorry to hear that, dude. Former alcoholic here. I do not go to bars, or around booze. Period. Know why? Cause then I can never even accidentally drink. A thing can't happen if you never put yourself in the position for it to happen. Emo if you're an alcoholic asking for drinks at a bar non-alcoholic or not, you're playing with fire. Indeed and surely part of the issue for some alcoholics is the environment, just as ex-smoker wants something between their fingers or alcoholic may associate and even desire the atmosphere of a bar slash pub because that is where they enjoyed their vice. Would that be fair to say? honest mistake. Yeah it sucks but you didn't know and to be formally penalized for that would be ridiculous. Tifu by buying a zucchini toy off of AliExpress. Obligatory this happened about two weeks ago. Throw away for obvious reasons. Okay, okay, I know what y'all are thinking why would you buy a zucchini toy off a Chinese website? Well I live in a country that prohibits any form of zucchini stuff, well except condoms and lube. However, if I order it from out of the country, it might get through customs without getting caught. So I decided on which toy to buy and filled my cart with a bunch of other stuff as well, cables, chargers, whatever, just to make the shipment less suspicious, then put in a false name and used an older number. Now, the seller of the toy stated on their page that their shipment is completely anonymous and won't have any labels or anything. I thought that's exactly what I need to get through customs. Remember, the seller stated that. Come three weeks later, the shipment arrived in my country and would be delivered the next day. But unfortunately, I was out of town. This usually isn't a problem for me cause I just tell the driver to ring the bell and have the maid receive it instead. This is why the FU happened. I received an SMS stating that the package was delivered, yay. I came back home about two days later, said hi to my family and all, then went into my room and it was sitting on my desk waiting for me to open it up along with all the cables but who cares about those am I right? I grabbed the package, then noticed that the courier added a sticker to the package stating the address, along with the content. Fuck. I read the sticker, and lo and behold, literally the first cheesecake item listed is realistic cheesecake large but male masturbation toy. Zucchini me, ironically. I just brushed it off and thought no one paid attention. I hid near my closet, opened the door to one to block off the view, and started opening it up. Then heard someone walk in, it's my dad. Panicked. I threw the box with the toy in the closet and pretended to open up the chargers and stuff. He comes up to me and the convo goes, Dad, hey kid, what you got there? Me, care nothing just some cables and stuff. Dad, you sure? Dot. Me, yeah. Dad, cuz I read the label and it said vagina masturbating. Or something to that effect. Me, silent. Wanting to die ha ha it's probs wrong he 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 h. He was weird with me the rest of the day. For some reason out of all the shipments I get all the time, that was the one he decided to look at. TL, doctor, ordered a banana toy online. Wasn't in town to receive it. Abel said literally what the item was in detail. Dad read it. Plus help me die. 
So did you cheesecake it or what? Tifu, but also, tifst. Super curious what country this is now. Dude has a maid and his country prohibits banana toys, even going so far as to have customs be on the lookout for them, but sells condoms and lube. Sounds like one of the more liberal GCC states, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, maybe Oman. Your dad is so gonna use it when you're not around. What kind of banana up country doesn't allow banana toys? I suspect it stems from the uneducated dumbness that is organized religion. I had a search. The usual suspects show up, Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Also on the list are places such as Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, and India. The Maldives also ban them. And then there's good ol' Alabama, USA. What the frick? I didn't order this. Tifu trying too hard as a new dad. When our daughter was first born, all I wanted to be was the best father ever. I'd stay up all night waiting for her to cry, just so I could spring into action. Even though I was working 10 plus hour days, I almost never slept. Just didn't want her to need me and I not be there. All the while my wife was a stay at home mom. She begged me to stop depriving myself of sleep. Of I course I didn't listen. One night, dozed off. Suddenly I was startled awake by the baby's cry. Eyes. Hopping up I ran to my child's crib and assured her I was on top of the matter. Stumbling into the kitchen, I removed a bottle from the fridge. Once it was properly heated I made my way back into the room, only to find my wife sitting on the edge of the bed almost done feeding our daughter. I stammered, but, but I heard her crying. My wife replied, yeah, that was like 10 minutes ago. You jumped out of bed and ran past me. I've been trying to figure out what in the world you're doing. Suffice to say she had to put both child and husband to bed. TL, drive. Almost went mad from lack of sleep trying to be a good dad. This is the most wholesome tifu I've ever read. You did not zucchini up man. You're gonna be an awesome dad. Just try to balance things a bit more. It may be helpful to keep in mind that you are no good to her when she needs you if you can barely function. In order to take care of her consistently, you need to take care of yourself consistently, as possible, same with your wife. Take the funny lesson from this and don't overdo it. Congrats on the kiddo. This is really sweet. Hopefully you started getting more sleep after that. That was unfair for you man. Mom's boobies are always warm. Ha ha ha, smiley face, except she was doing the formula thing. Of course I was ready to do my part to an extreme level. Overcompensating on my part, thumbs up, seriously. Just love to you and your family. I remember these days, it gets so much better.